My dad used to drive me to school every day. And on that ride to school, he would always tell me, you must find the need and fill the void. And that was always our mantra as I was growing up. My father was a mechanical engineer, and he also owned his own salsa studio. My mother owned her own beauty salon. I was watching my parents just teach me the ethics of working hard and staying faithful to obtaining the things that you want in life, and that meant something to me as a child. And as time passed, I went through college, I became a nurse. I realized that something was missing, and that puzzle piece ended up being my transgender identity. I had so much welcomeness from the transgender community that it just made me want to pour more of myself into it because of how much they poured into me for me to even find who I am. That's the biggest thing is community. Community is, it's everything. When I finally started the actual hormones, I knew that I needed to put them somewhere. So I just went to the store and realized that it's just regular bags. There's nothing specific to hold medication in. My gear started turning and I said, you know what, I'm gonna create my own bag. Everybody's stating, I need this product, I need this product. That is really what started the, the community foundation. Stealth Bros & Co. is a luxury dop kit company for personal and at-home needs. All medical needs, but specifically underrepresented medical communities. People feel better that they know that they have a product where they're not confined to their homes and they can get out and live their best life. She's not being too greedy, she's actually drinking it nice. My friends and family describe my work ethic as being probably the hardest working person in the room. I know it's hard sometimes for them, it's hard for everybody when I can't always be present, but at the same token, they really, really support what I'm doing. And now with my daughter being born, I really wanna show her that this is what hard work can get you, just like my parents did for me. One day, I received a random email. It said, you know, I'm a producer from Shark Tank, please reach out to me if you're interested in being part of the show. I was so determined from the work that I had placed in that all I could see was getting a deal. All I could see was coming out successful. Store your meds in luxury. So sharks, who wants to fill the void of millions of people and take a shot with Stealth Bros & Co? You guys got a deal. When I got back to my hotel room and I called my dad and I told him that I got the deal, he was like in tears and just basically saying how proud he was of me and like how he knew from the very beginning and you know, I don't know, it, it's a, I, I'm sorry to get emotional. <laughs> you know, I knew that I did something really great because he doesn't just say I'm proud of you. For him to stop and say he was proud of me during that moment really solidified a lot for me. Since the airing of Shark Tank, literally everything pretty much has been sold out. We don't even have any more original dops and we're pretty much sold out of all of our Sharp shuttles. Shark Tank has really elevated our business to the next level. Creating this company wasn't about making the next dollar. It was a passion of mine. I really wanted to enrich the lives of my community more than anything. I'm committed to doing it right by my community. It's my life's purpose. It's something that I was chosen to be in this position to do, to shed this light on them, to bring us to a forefront in a different way. That is what I was put here to do. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me. Yeah, hopefully.